Hi guys, Luma Llama here. In this tutorial, I just want to go over a few ways that you can create masks in Procreate. Now, if you're not familiar with masks, they basically allow you to paint on specific parts of an image without spilling over to other areas. So for example, on this onion character, if I wanted to paint some shading on him without spilling onto the background, masks will allow you to do that. So the first type of mask is called an alpha lock. So it's pretty simple. All you do is you go to your main shape. So I'm gonna find my main onion shape here. And you're gonna click on the layer and go to alpha lock. And now you'll see in the little preview here that there's a little uh, checkerboard pattern behind the shape. And that just shows you that you will not be able to paint on those areas. So now if we paint on the layer and add some shading, it will only paint on that shape and not on the background. The only downside to this is that it's gonna be baked into that layer, so you do not have the flexibility of being able to turn that on and off later or tweak it. The next type of mask is a selection mask. So what we can do is come here to the layer and let me disable this alpha lock. And now if you click on the layer and hit select, now it will select that shape and there's gonna be these moving diagonal lines everywhere else and that shows you where you do not have a selection. So now we could either paint on this layer by just switching to the paintbrush, or with that selection active, you can create a new layer and it will paint only in the selected area. And now that is on its own layer, so you can turn that on and off. A better way of doing that would be clipping masks. So that's kind of what I have going on here. I have each of these shading effects on their own clipping mask layer. So for example, the highlights I can turn on and off or the lines I can turn on and off. And let me just turn these off and I'll show you how to create a clipping mask. So all you do is you go to your main shape and you create a layer right above that. And you wanna click on it and just make sure that clipping mask is turned on. And you'll see a little arrow pointing down and that shows that this is acting as a clipping mask toward the layer beneath it. So it's whatever you paint on this clipping mask layer is gonna stay within the boundaries of the shape beneath it. And you can layer on as many clipping masks as you want for one shape. And again, the only downside to that is you're gonna be creating more layers, which can limit you because depending on your canvas size, you can only have so many layers. And the last type of mask is called a layer mask, and this will allow you to hide or show different parts of a layer. So we're gonna to go to our onion shape and we're gonna click on it and click mask. And you'll notice that creates a white layer mask right above it. And now wherever this is white, it's gonna show the shape and wherever it's black, it's gonna hide it. And you can paint directly on this layer with a black or white brush. So we're gonna click on it, switch over to a black brush. And now wherever I paint, it's gonna hide that layer. And the benefit of this is it's non-destructive, so you can always just disable that effect if you want or tweak it by painting in the layer. Well, that's everything you need to know about masks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.